Hey, what's up everybody? So today I wanna to show you guys one of the reasons why a 3D printer can be so convenient for your tool room or your machine shop. So if you take a look at the part we have here on screen, we have a sheet metal part that's formed over a hydroform block and you'll see this a lot in the aerospace industry. Now on this form block, if we hide our part, you can see that there's these holes in three sides of our fixture. Now if we take a look at the wireframe of this model, you can see that this hole and these two side holes are at a slight angle. Now in order to be able to machine those, I have to do one of two things. I have to either run this fixture in a five axis mill, or I'm gonna have to put it on a fixture that puts the part at that angle in my three axis machine. But if you have a 3D printer, you can actually print a drill jig, and then you can put those angled holes in by hand. So what I did here is modeled up a drill jig that uses the absolute minimum amount of material while getting all of the surfaces that I need to made up properly to my drill fixture. So if we take a look at our drill jig here, you can see that we've done a couple of things to make this more friendly to our 3D printer. So we have these holes that are gonna be printed in a vertical orientation, and rather than make them round, we made them teardrop shape. What this does is allow our printer to print these shapes without the need of support. Then if we take a look at the top of our part, we can see that we have these two locating holes that we're gonna use dowel pins in to locate our drill jig to our drill fixture. Now once we have our drill jig modeled up and we're happy with our design, we're gonna bring that into Iger, so all we gotta do is import our SDL file. And once we have it here in Iger, we're gonna pick our print material, which in this case is gonna be Onyx. Our reinforcement material, which we could select from carbon fiber or Kevlar, but in this case, we're not gonna need any of that. And then we're gonna pick the machine type that we're gonna to use to print this. And in this case, we're gonna use our Mark Forged X7. After that, all we have to do is hit print, the slicer is going to go ahead and slice our part and add supports where it thinks it needs them. And after that, we're ready to export our build and go over to our printer and start printing this thing. Now, the cool thing about 3D printers is while this is printing, I'm going to run over to our Emco Mill 1200 and I'm going to start actually machining our fixture. Boombastic 2025 is coming up and you guys need to go get your tickets now. You can click the link in the description below. It is going to be an incredible event. We will have over 50 machines on this floor. It's a full white glove service. We're going to be serving you awesome food and you don't want to miss out on all the giveaway opportunities that you're going to be entered in just by being here. So go click the link in the description, grab your tickets, and we will see you in November. Take a look at that. I didn't have to do nothing but hit print. Ooh. Boom, work smarter, not harder. So now we have our 3D printed drill template and we have our fixture machined. Now you'll notice that those three angled holes haven't been added yet. Now this printer is extremely accurate. So these drill bushings, I didn't have to do anything to our 3D printed drill jig. We're just gonna set our drill bushings on there. Now that we have those in, we're gonna put in our two quarter inch dowel pins. So now we have our 3D printed drill jig complete with our drill bushings and our locating pins. So we can take this, put it straight onto our fixture. And now all we gotta do is C-clamp this on here and we can start drilling our holes. Now, this isn't gonna be a method that you wanna use if you have really tight true position call outs. But for something like this in your tool room, this is gonna be a great way to get this achieved quickly and easily without the use of specialized equipment or fixtures. So now we're gonna C-clamp our drill jig onto our fixture and then we're gonna start drilling some holes. Safety first. 
All right, we're ready to drill some holes. So we got all three of our angled holes drilled now. We can take our drill jig off, and there you have it. All three holes drilled to the exact right location at the exact right angle. Now 3D printers can be extremely useful, especially in a tool room. And I've used them for a whole lot of things in the past, for assembly fixtures, for drill templates, even for just fit checks. So if you're looking for more ways to use your 3D printer in your shop, maybe this is something that can help you. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys again next time. Peace.